Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with HP Firearms. And in the last video on the windmill series, uh, which would have been video number two, this is video number three, um, we installed the pivot base, which was a bearing seat, on the top of our frame up here. And uh, I'm going to show you in this video what that's going to be used for. All right? Now, mine, I've already, my windmill, I've already made um, note that I'm going to use this windmill to uh, generate 12 volt energy or uh, DC power. All right? And so, with that, I could use this pivot base as a base for the windmill to just change direction in the winds. But in our case, what I want to do is I want to be able to hook a battery up so that we can charge a battery with our windmill. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this galvanized pipe. It's a half inch galvanized uh, pipe. And I'm going to use a steel washer. And I'm going to go right up through this and then bring our washer down over top. And we're going to weld that washer to the pipe so that it, that's what the pipe will actually hang on, is that washer. We're going to leave this section of pipe on and let it hang down. And then in the later part, we're going to make a battery box to attach on the bottom here. And we'll run our charging cables inside this pipe. So that as the windmill spins, the battery that we're charging, the wiring, and everything will spin in unison with it so that it doesn't get tangled up in anything. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to weld a washer onto a pipe. Alright guys, so I'm getting ready to weld the pipe. And what I've done is I've made two marks on there. One is one inch in and the other is uh, two inches in. Alright, so the top one, we're going to put two washers on here. The top washer is going to be the base for our platform to set on when we put our steel platform on the bottom one is actually going to be for the to set on top of the bearing to help hold the rod up all right so that way we have a gap in between there now one thing that I want to point out I am using galvanized pipe before you do any welding with galvanized take your pipe outside in in the breeze or with fans away and wear a, wear a respirator and take a torch and burn the uh, galvanized coating off of it. Otherwise the toxins that are that come off of the pipe when you're welding it will give you chemical pneumonia and you don't want that. So uh, go ahead and burn it all off, let it cool down and then that way you've got a, uh, a galvanized free surface to weld. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and chuck it up in a vise here. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the two inch mark first. And I'm going to tighten it down right on the two inch mark. You don't want to tighten it down too much or you'll bend your pipe. Just tighten it down enough that you can, uh, that it'll hold it steady. Then you want to take a level and put up against it and make sure that we're perfect up and down. All right, and then check it this way, make sure we're good that way. Make sure it's nice and plumb. Alright, and then we're going to take one of our washers and we're going to slide it right down over the top and we're going to let it set right center on the top of our vise here and that's going to give us a good stable platform to start welding from. Alright, so once you get it welded, you can go ahead and do your carding. And now that'll be the washer that sets directly on the bearing. So the next one we need to install is the top one. Okay guys, so change of plan a little bit. We're only going to go with one washer. Alright, and I'll, I'll explain why here in a second. Um, and that's kind of the, uh, the thing that you run into when you don't have plans. You kind of just build it as you go. Originally, I thought one washer for the base to ride on the bearing, another washer up top, leave a gap in between. But after I test fit, the bearing that, or the washer that rides on the bearing 
we have plenty of clearance between that and our framework all right so the reason for me putting that extra inch was just to give us a little bit more clearance but we're going to have plenty of clearance now on top of that my bearing that i got also comes with a little collar all right and the inside of the collar on this underside and i know it's going to be hard for you guys to see because the lighting in here sucks and it's dark outside is actually um, machined out so that it fits right down over top of the lip on that bearing. I'm using a 7 8 inch bearing by the way too. It's a 7 8 inch bearing and a half inch piece of uh, galvanized pipe. All right, and uh, I tried to use a, uh, a 3 quarter inch bearing and it just won't work. 7 8 is a little loose but I think we're going to tighten it up right here and it's going to do alright. Anyway, on this collar that it comes with it has a set screw so we're going to go ahead and set that with a set screw and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to install the pipe right down through the top of my bearing. And I'm going to let it slide right down. And I'm going to let that collar lock down over top of that bearing. And now we use our Allen keys to set it. bit of play a little bit of play in it but I think with the weight of the battery box hanging on it it's going to take a lot of that play out but yet it's going to allow our platform with our window on it to still spin freely in the when the wind changes directions so that part is finished all right, guys, so that's it for this part of uh, the windmill project. Um, I've got the frame done now. We've got our pivot base done and our platform pivot bar done. All right. Um, now, from this point, the next step would be to probably build either the battery box or start building the platform for the windmill on top. And we may do both of those at one time, but we'll do that in the next video. So if you guys are interested in seeing this project come along as it goes, um, then go ahead and subscribe. Um, the subscriptions are always appreciated. And uh, go ahead and go to my channel and check out my other videos on how-to projects, gunsmithing, reloading, prepping, canning, everything. Uh, anyway, uh, but other than that, guys, rate the video. If you have any comments or questions, don't forget to uh, leave those in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Bobby Hughes with HP Firearms. Uh, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.